Okay, so some of you guys wanted to see the truck working in action, and today I need it. Um, unfortunately, it is here at the shop we need it. It won't be out on a job site, but I figured you'd still like to see it work, so let's give it a whirl. So both things are running around. We got the welder running, warming up. We got the truck warming up. Um, everything's getting ready to go here. What we have and what we're going to be welding is we have a powder coating oven. Uh, we powder coat here as well as fabricate. Um, our powder coating oven is 8 foot by 8 foot by 24 foot. Um, so if you guys need anything painted or powder coated, let me know. I'd love to help you out. Um, inside that shop is where we do all of our fabricating. We specialize in railings, gates, tables, uh, any type of furniture. Um, all the specialty of metal working, we can do it. So we powder coat in-house. Again, 8 foot by 8 foot by 24 foot is our oven. And that's what we're going to be welding on today. The door weighs about 1,000 pounds. Um, we built our own oven, so when I built the door, I made a single door that's 8 foot by 8 foot, um, and it weighs close to 1,000 pounds, and I used a, like a metal caster on the ground. I'll show you when we go back there. Um, but I used a metal caster, and the problem with opening the door about 10 times a day, it's just wearing into the concrete. So i got to get rid of that metal caster, we're going to put a, a rubber wheel on it that can handle the weight. So we had a make brackets we're gonna weld it to the door and I'll show you the before what's going on we'll show you how we're welding with this much setup and then I'll show you the final results because I got to do some painting today okay so here's the new tire idea we're gonna do um, so the problem with it though is this is just from tractor supply we made our own brackets here and this is just a solid piece of round stock but the problem is, is this wheel will still want to roll this way and bind or that way and bind so we're going to take a piece of pipe that slides over this solid round stock and weld like our own spacers or washers or whatever you want to call it in there to keep the wheel from drifting left and right and binding. Um, and then this bottom of these two will have a plate welded across there and that's what's going to attach to the door. Um, so that bottom plate will keep this spaced evenly. The washers we're going to make is going to hold the wheel where the wheel's at and let it still move without it walking all over the piece. And how are we going to do the washers is Where's our piece of pipe? Right there. So if you ever need a washer of a special size, just take a piece of pipe, cut it about a quarter inch thick, whatever you want to do, three eighths, half inch, whatever you need as a spacer, cut it, not your spacer and your washer, same time. that tolerance is on. Nice and tight. And then you're just going to weld that right to it. Same with this side. Go ahead and slide your piece in first. Okay, so we're going to weld this plate to this solid bar, this plate to this solid bar, and that keeps that wheel from sliding left to right, binding, twisting, uh, because there's a lot of weight on it. Okay, these magnets are holding this at a 90 degree angle from the table, uh, so it's a straight level. We're going to double check and verify that we are 90. Nice. That'll work. So this is the oven I was telling you about. Uh, again, it's eight foot wide and eight foot tall. Um, here's what we have now. It's just a caster. And the problem with it is it's wearing into the concrete and giving you a lip and it's hitting this crack line here and digging a hole. So it gets hard to push the door over when it dug itself a hole. And you can see where it's rolling. Uh, it's really tearing into the concrete. So instead of this metal caster being here, we're going to put a tire one on it so that rubber would be like a cushion. So. so, 
we forgot about this piece here needs cut this can't be straight in line with this because it puts it 90 degrees uh, straight with the door this way and the door has to turn at an angle uh, so it opens so we had to cut a piece off wasn't thinking right Board. No good. Yeah, here's the update. <laughs> yeah, that, that tire just didn't make it. But the weight, the heat, it's just no fuel. But we're gonna settle with this one for now. It'll work. Now I gotta clean up all this shit. It'll work. Open it up real quick. That's the oven. <laughs> Get ready to paint some railings. Okay, go ahead and close that thing. That's it. that. Exactly. 